So now let's see the cloud build in action. So in the previous step, we containerized the app and we did it with the Docker configuration. So a quick review on what we did. So we came up here and we uh, did our Docker configuration. Now what we need to do is we need to use the Google Cloud Build service. With the Google Cloud Build service, we're gonna uh, build our container image manually or even we can use the Cloud Build triggers which will fire the build automatically whenever there is a change in the repository. So let's try to do both and look at them one by one. So first thing first is where I'm going to come here and we will just uh, zip our restaurants, right? So we'll just compress this. And now I'm going to go on my cloud console. Let's activate the cloud shell. Now you can even directly clone the repository from the cloud source repositories if you want or other way around is that you can go into your editor and upload this zip file and then unzip and just execute your cloud build command so we'll just wait for all right so here we are now i'm going to come here and uh, upload this restaurants.zip file so here we are with the restaurants.zip file. So let's open it and go back to the terminal. So I'm gonna say unzip with a quiet operation on restaurants.zip. So now I can change my directory to the restaurants. If you see, so here we are with the Docker file configuration, right? So the file which we created. Now for giving the manual uh, build, so you can come here and say your G cloud builds submit now when we are using our G cloud build submit so typically the G cloud build submit is uh, going to ask you for what image you are going to create right and uh, that's like G, G cloud build submit we say hyphen hyphen tag and then let's go with the gcr.io so Google cloud registry now I need to give my uh, project ID name so this is my project ID and then you can give your image name so I'm going to give the image name as restaurants right so maybe this is going to be hyphen the version one right so restaurants hyphen v1 so let's hit this G cloud build submit now your docker file is going to come up and execute all the instructions one by one right so if you want to come up and just review it so here is our first step right that's like uh, if you can see so this is our first step which is going to happen then slowly and slowly after your step one of eight it will move on the next step the next step and the next step so now we're in the step number two that we got the work directory settled as app and then step number three we, we did the copy four we did the copy soon and so forth we are moving ahead So let's just wait for this build to get finished. And if you want to review uh, the build on the cloud console, so you can go to the cloud build right in the histories page, you will be able to get to see your cloud build in action, right? So hit this cloud build and you can see all the steps coming up here as well, right? So our build is success. So till here our build is success. If you will see, then, uh, the next one was to come up and create our image. So now you can see pushing gcr.io restaurants v1, right? So the build is successfully done and this is where you can uh, get to your artifacts. So let's click on this. So this is my cloud storage. In the cloud storage, in this cloud build, in the source, you got this. So let me open this cloud build source. So here you get to see your, uh, you know, image getting generated. At the same time, when we'll come up here, so everything is done successful, right? So your image is uh, very much uh, created, but this is done manually, right? So you have done in a manual way. So you can even trigger the build. So let's now see how we can trigger the build. So we, we did the cloud build manually 
So how did we do it? So we just came up and executed the gcloud build submit command, right? Now what I want to do is I want to actually automate this process and uh, this is generally the continuous integration which we are going to implement now, right? So it means if you change your project file structure, the moment you change, the moment you push, so automatically a build should be fired. So in order to do this, I need to come back in my cloud build, right? So I need to go back to my cloud build. I can just come here and say the cloud build. So I'm gonna go to the dashboards. Now in the cloud build, I want to set up my build trigger, right? So let's say set up the build trigger. If you want, you can come here in the triggers and then also you can set up the build trigger. So you need to come up and create a trigger and this must be unique within the entire project. Okay, so we are going to come here and uh, use this as restaurants trigger. So this goes like my restaurants trigger. So we got restaurants web service app. So if you want to give any tags, you can give the tags. So tags are generally uh, some strings which you would like to come up and, you know, uh, maintain, right? So it may be that which team is handling, right? So all that stuff you can do. Now this trigger will be fired as an event when you will push something to the branch, if you can see here. So what is the repository in which you will be pushing? So guys, in the cloud source repository, we got this restaurants repository which we created. So if you'll come back to the cloud source repositories, here, right, so we already have this restaurants as the repository if you can see right so if you do any kind of uh, you can say change the moment you push any code in this repository your trigger is going to be executed right on the master branch now there's a configuration would you like to configure via a yaml configuration or through a docker file so as of now we got the docker configuration so we're gonna select docker so what is the repository? The repository is the restaurants and do you have the Docker file in any directory? So we do have it in the root. So we need not to specify anything here, right? So the directory will uh, also be used as the Docker build context, but you need not to specify anything if you can see here. So defaults to the repository root. So in our case, the Docker configuration goes in the projects root directory. So let's come back. And uh, what is the Docker file name? So our Docker file name is exactly the same name called Docker file. Now every time you are going to come up and uh, push the code to the repository, there will be a new image you're gonna get fired. And every time this image will be uh, generated by some you know secure hash. If you see here, guys, right? So there will be some secure hash which will be appended in the end. Now you can even use a project ID if you want. So secure hash means uh, generally for every time you are going to come up and uh, you know give a build. So it's gonna give you a unique image every time. So this becomes the docker build command, right? So in the docker build command, we're gonna generate this uh, gcr.io or AI restaurants, but this will be uh, done with the help of this docker file. So with this, I'm just gonna say create Now we got a restaurants trigger which has been created. Now you can manually run the trigger. So the moment you will run the trigger, it means your cloud build is going to be executed. All right. But we don't want to run this trigger manually. What we want is we want to come up and do some changes in our uh, code and then push it and see if the trigger is going to come up or not. Right. So let's see how it can be done. So we got this restaurants directory which we have cloned and I'm going to just open it with my Visual Studio code. So in the SRC main Java in the restaurants application dot Java, right? So let's try to come here and maybe add one uh, more menu. Let's say a menu three. So this menu three is going to be maybe a coffee. 
just a cold coffee let's say 150 and we're gonna come up with a hot coffee let's say 100 bucks and then let's say maybe sandwich some 100 bucks so i got one more manning added here in my restaurants application dot java and uh, probably i'm gonna add one more restaurant called john's cafe with this menu 3 right so let this be added in the menu 3 so i did a small change right so when i saved this file you see the status is changed so let's come here and uh, I'm going to go to my documents, then to my restaurants, right? So let's see the git status here. So in the git status, you see that there is one file which is modified. This is your restaurants application dot Java. So I'm going to say git add your dot. Now we'll see our git status. Right, so we have restaurants application dot Java to be committed. So we can simply come up and say git commit hyphen m, and I'll say restaurant added in hash map. Right, so now we'll commit this, and finally, what you need to do is you need to push this code. Right, so git push hyphen u, and we'll say origin as master branch. Now, the moment you uh, push this to the Google Cloud Source repository, right? So, when we will see here in the Cloud Source repository, let's come here in the Cloud Source repository. I'm going to just refresh this repository. So, there is restaurant added in the hash map, right? So, coming back here in the history, you see that there is a new build which is fired automatically from the restaurant's repository and you see due to this commit, right? So there's a trigger which has been fired. If you can see duration is just 30 seconds. Let me open this build. So boom, you go. And what you see now is that whenever you will submit or push the code in the repository automatically, your cloud build is going to build a new container image for you. Of course, we are not deploying the container image uh, uh, in the real-time environment to the production. Yes, here you can now see that the build is successful. So everything works perfectly fine, right? So uh, we will have a new image being generated with this push. So let's see that. So this is your new image, which is going to be created. So we are done here and uh, we have this build log, we have our build artifacts, then we got our execution details to see what exactly uh, has happened and all the information is available that it is generated with the help of this restaurant trailer. So guys, now you know how you can come up with the continuous integration. So rather than giving a manual build, so you can configure the triggers, the moment you push the changes, your build is going to be fired. So coming back here, so cloud build is the one which gives you the importance of triggers and with the help of triggers, you can actually come up and implement your continuous integration. The next part is going to focus on how you're gonna implement continuous deployment. It means that you wanna use cloud run so that you can do a deployment, right? So we'll see once again the manual deployment and how you can directly come up and deploy whenever there is change in your code.